in the previous lecture we have learned about the permutation of objects wherein we have taken four objects p g r and y and we found that the number of permutations were 24 and those permutations are the one which are listed on the screen here by default we assumed that all the four objects were different now what if some of the objects are same let me remove the green and red and replace it with blue now once we do that even the list has to be changed so wherever there is g and r i'll replace it with b and the new listing will be this one if you carefully observe many arrangements are actually same let me mark it for you so here comes the problem whenever objects are repeated the number of permutations will actually reduce let's make a mechanism to find out number of permutations whenever there is a repetition of objects when we have taken different objects like in this case we have four objects so here the number of permutations was 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which was 4 factorial and if the objects are same the first thing we'll be doing is first find out which specific objects are repeated so those objects all the possible permutations we calculate and we just remove it from the total permutations so in this case we have three objects so this can be permuted in three factorial ways but because all the objects are same in any way you arrange they actually become the same so this three factorial is removed from the four factorial so four factorial is formed because of the product so when i have to remove it i'll go with the reverse operation which becomes division therefore the number of permutations of four objects where three objects are same is four factorial by three factorial now let's generalize this for a set of n objects with n1 of first kind n2 of second kind n3 of third kind and so on some nr then the number of permutations with repetition is first we take permutation of all objects which becomes n factorial divided by we remove the permutation of first kind which is n1 factorial and the second kind which becomes n2 factorial then n3 factorial and so on till nr factorial let's quickly solve the question find the number of distinct permutations that can be formed from all the letters of each word first one is those the second is unusual third is sociological let's pick up the first one here we have distinct objects and the number of object is 5 therefore the number of permutations is n factorial that's 5 factorial which becomes 120 if you pick up the second one unusual we see that some of the objects are repeated the total number of objects n is 7 and the one that is repeated is u and it has been repeated three times so i can take the n1 as 3 we already know the number of permutations is n factorial divided by the one which has been repeated so here n1 is repeating n1 factorial which becomes 7 factorial by 3 factorial if you move on to the third one sociological here also the objects are repeated the total number of objects is 12 here we see the o has been repeated thrice so o is three times and c has been repeated twice even i has been repeated twice l is also repeated twice this is n1 this is n2 this is n3 and this is n4 so the total number of permutations are n factorial divided by n1 factorial n2 then n3 then n4 factorial which is 12 factorial divided by 3 factorial 2 factorial 2 factorial and 2 factorial that's the answer 